The bald eagle was removed from the U.S. government's list of endangered species back in 1995 because their numbers have been soaring. Well, tonight we're going to show you a spectacular view along the bluffs of the Missouri River near Yankton, where bald eagles are putting on an aerial show for tourists. I could sit here all day and watch. Pam Erickson and her husband of Irene are traveling to Lincoln, Nebraska, but they're in no hurry. We just decided at the last minute to stop in and see if there was any eagles out here, and the view is awesome. This is the view she and a lot of others are talking about. So my wife's the photographer, and she dragged me out here to go see the eagles. Christopher and Brooke Price of Norfolk, Nebraska, didn't drive an hour to just come and watch. Brooke is capturing America's iconic symbol on camera. In Norfolk, we'll see a couple every now and then, but uh, to see this many, like this is pretty awesome. Eagles like to gather near large bodies of open water with an abundant food supply and old trees for nesting. I mean, we've got open water here, low water levels. I think it's it's good time for the, the eagles to be looking for prey so they feed on fish and I think that's why they're hanging out in the area right now. And they're not just hanging out in the trees. Some hitch a ride on floating icebergs, hunker down and praying for an opportunity. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool creatures and they'll, they'll do a lot of things that will surprise the, you know, the people that are watching them. It's one thing to see an eagle and its six foot wingspan soaring over open waters, but it's another chilling moment to see it flying so freely in a country that's all about its freedom. And the Game Fish and Park says that if you are planning to pay a visit to the area, bring your binoculars, your cameras, and make sure you pull off to the side of the road for your own safety and enjoy the views.